Hello and welcome to MetaReady, a channel completely dedicated to discussing and exploring everything related to the Sondor's meta cycle set to release in just a couple weeks. Yet again. Hmm. Well, today, we're going to be taking a community-focused tangent and talk about the top 5 concerns that MetaCycle owners have with Sondor so far. With concern number 1, having the most traction on the internet. This is backed by extensive social media thread scouring and chats with owners, and this is a great topic to shine some light on for the sake of public awareness and in hopes that, perhaps, the R&D department of Sondor's finds this video and does learn from it. I also absolutely believe the long-term term success of a company is directly related to trust in its leadership and care for its community. Speaking of which, I'd like to appreciate this here growing community for being so involved in the discussion as I expressly asked. This channel is definitely purposed for dialogue and not just YouTube content to binge on. Though, yeah, if you're that type, do that too if you want. Community highlights of the week goes to Naimasuki, an awesome moderator of a super chill MetaCycle focused subreddit for watching the previous video and taking the time to share some detailed suggestions for my next ones. Points taken. And comment highlight of the week goes to TL on Josh Sanders' comment thread to which I'll answer more directly once this channel hits a milestone of, say, 500 subscribers? Does anyone else think that whoever started this channel could be a Sondor's employee that's not happy with how they're handling PR? I mean, are you? Okay, we're about to jump into the topic, so if you're interested in receiving news, tips and updates on Sondor's MetaCycle, sub to this channel and share this video, help more MetaCycle lovers find MetaReady like you did, hit the bell icon to get notified of my next video in a few days. Okay, now on with the main topic of this video, the top 5 concerns MetaCycle owners have with Sondor's, with concern number 5 being the most obvious, missed shipping dates. Missed shipping dates are definitely cause for valid concern as it seems to be plaguing tech companies more and more these days. As of the time of this video, Sondor is knowing their latest promised June shipping date is fast approaching, put a post up to reassure owners that things are going according to plan, whatever that plan may now be. One could argue they never intended to ship on time, the statements they made back in 2021 that they were running ahead of schedule only later on to push it back twice was all part of a ploy. They said whatever they needed to take sales which they would then spend on product development and production. To that, I say it's all behind us. I'm personally looking at this June delivery and what becomes of it. Now, if they botch this date, now I'll be frank and say I'm still too sold on the MetaCycle to ask for a refund then. As I suffered many delays before taking delivery of my Tesla 2021, am no longer in a rush to buy a PS5, don't mind waiting for products I buy on AliExpress. You get the picture. I'm understanding of impromptus, so long as they stay within acceptable timelines. And I understand this may not be the case with everyone, seeing as each person is different, with some people within the Facebook community not even waiting for further delays, perhaps swaying loyalty to other electric bikes. I'd advise you to stay the course, as I definitely would love to see metacycles on the streets everywhere. That would be a sight to behold. Number 4. Security MetaCycle has no companion mobile app, nor does Sondors have any such plans in the pipeline. The only security feature on the MetaCycle is a key fob armed alarm system. So in the event that your precious MetaCycle is stolen, it's just gone. With unfortunately no concierge support from Sondors to assist in its recovery. Now note that this is a deal breaker for me, because it isn't the only bike or product out there valued at more than $5,000 with no way to trace it if it's gone. As a solution to this, it'd probably be best to go for a third party GPS tracker service. Make use of GPS tags you can get instant alerts from, like Apple AirTags, Tile, Samsung Smart Tags. There is always a way around security issues with motorcycles. Number 3. Concept versus Production While the current production-ready version of the MetaCycle is definitely still a great look all in all, quite literally no one is exactly as enamored with its new look as they were with the first concept model. Its slick, minimalistic, ergonomic design was certainly part of its selling point, at least for me for sure. 
Since then, it's undergone a good number of changes, with even some uncertainty within the Metacycle community as to what exactly is the final look of the Metacycle. Some silver Metacycles have black battery packs, others have black fenders, and for a while, it seemed like we were left in the dark about something we should have been certain of and ought to be super excited for. Number 2. No Arctic aka White Metacycle it's safe to assume a large portion of the Metacycle community ordered the Arctic aka white version of the Metacycle and still do not know what the final production ready version looks like. Apart from the 3D mockup concept on the SondorsX.com Metacycle order page, there is literally not one photo of it anywhere. To the popular question now on their website on the FAQ section about when those photos will be released, Sondor's replied, as soon as the pictures are available of the finished production units. My follow up then is, are there no arctic white production units made? Though something is telling me this should be coming much much sooner than later though. Now, the final concern, which has caused so much disappointment within the community, and understandably so, to the extent that I'm actually interested in seeing how it will affect post-delivery reviews and first impressions. Number 1. No more naked silver color. Along with many, my first attraction to the Metacycle was its base naked silver roll colorway, very reminiscent of the Tesla Cybertruck. Folks are absolutely disappointed with the news that Sondors will no longer be shipping that colorway, which will instead be replaced with painted grey, honestly a far cry from the original appeal of the raw metal finish. The only one on display at the Peterson Museum in LA is actually the now outdated naked silver color. So the only available Metacycle to see is not even in one of the final colors the production ready model will be shipped in. That certainly adds to the feels that this was bait and switch marketing all along, or lack of transparency soon enough for buyers to make an informed decision. Now, let me deliver some hope here. Again, having gone for the super massive black Metacycle, I could tell, as is the norm with pre-orders, that there was a possibility for the final shipped products to be different from the 3D mockup models. Remember, 3D mockup models are designed with CAD software to look as close as possible to real life products, and more times than not, some elements just are impossible to replicate identically. For reference, search for Tesla Cybertruck, and Elon Musk's tweet stating the Cybertruck production car will be almost identical to the concept, and then see how it's already starting to look a tad bit different, however minor the changes. My point is, a concept is just that, a concept, and road readiness rules are just those, rules to comply to. And honestly, it's not until production that some kinks are discovered and then figured out. Like the naked silver issue, as discussed in my previous video. All I'm ultimately trying to say is, I hope it doesn't have you silver model Metacycle owners cancel your pre-orders, as this could present new opportunities for customization. After all, my Tesla didn't come with gold calipers, if you see what I mean. Alright, for those of you who stuck up to this point in this week's video, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet so you don't miss my next video where I'll be talking about accessories that would fit great on the Metacycle, a series that I plan to continue over time as I'm sure there are products currently in development for the niche market that is the Metacycle owners community, and I think you should absolutely hold off on buying products that aren't designed specifically for Metacycle until you see it stated loud and clear that it is built for Metacycle. And just so you know, I'm absolutely looking forward to chatting in the comments section and I'm listening to your suggestions so long as they're helpful toward the quality of content on this channel and the Metacycle community worldwide. Thanks for watching, this has been Trevor with MetaReady, signing out.